Good morning, this is December the 8th, and this is Pastor Rick's Reflections. Today we're going to read from Luther, and our verse is uh, Luke 21, verse 28. Now when these things begin to take place, stand up and raise your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. Luther writes this in a sermon for the second Sunday of Advent. This is indeed tr- this is indeed the true master who can interpret the signs rightly, not like astrologers and fortune tellers who read nothing but evil in them and so frighten people. For he tells nothing but good, and in those signs, which for the wise and worldly signify nothing but death and destruction, which we must flee in fear, he can discern all that is good and find there those blessed words, your redemption. And so have a comforting picture for which the heart should long above all things. For what else do the words your redemption mean than that you who are now in bondage to the power of Satan, who attacks you with all his arrows, so that you are beset and oppressed by the world and threatened by all kinds of peril and want, out of which neither you yourself nor anyone can help you, will be saved and set free by your Lord Jesus in heaven and will be brought where you will be a master over devil, hell, and death, so that they must all lie at your feet. Why then should you be afraid of those signs and fear them? Why should you not rather greet them with joy? We should willingly receive the comfort of knowing that he will surely come and will show by these signs that he is near. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, As we prepare for your coming at Advent, help us to look uh, for signs of your presence already among us, signs that you are here, signs that you are here to deliver us, to comfort us, to help us along life's way. You are also here to guide us as we do what we can to take care of one another, to to heal our sick, uh, to feed those who are hungry, to be with those who are homeless, who are lost, who are grieving. Help us uh, not only to uh, look for your signs, but to be your the signs of your presence in our world today. Keep us always in your care and remind us of your love. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.